Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we are going to learn how you can close the sprint in Jira. Now before you start going ahead and understand the steps to basically close the sprint, the first and foremost thing is that sprints are applicable for the scrum board. If you are working on a Kanban project or Kanban board, then you should be checking the deploying a release uh, in the Kanban board. In the Scrum project, sprints are relevant because we follow Scrum and Scrum has these two to four weeks iterations or cycles which are known as sprint, uh, which, which are known as sprint. And to complete a sprint in Jira, you must be either a Jira administrator or you should be having a managed sprint permission. Now, if you're not able to see the button or the way that I'm showing you to close the sprint, most probably you do not have managed sprints permission. And in that case, you need to reach out to your Jira administrator in your organization to get that permission first. So once you get the permission, I'll show you the steps how to close the sprint. So because sprint is relevant or um, sprints are relevant to the scrum project, so we'll start with the classic scrum project and if i open the classic scrum project i go to the active sprint so if you go to the active sprints you will see the board and the active sprint that will be progressing ideally this timeline that you see here this will remain or reduce to zero days remaining when your sprint is over and sprint is nothing but you know like 10 days duration or two weeks two to four week cycle which is the iteration so in scrum so we follow the iterative development approach and once in the two week cycle some of the work items are being done or in best case scenario all of the work items are done then you can simply click on complete sprint button here okay if this is disabled for you you need to reach out to your um, jira administrator to to get the complete sprint or manage sprint permission now say for example there are a couple of items which are in review and in development and not being completed and the timeline has been uh, you know timeline is finished for that particular iteration so you can still go ahead and click on complete sprint now in this case once you'll click on complete sprint so you'll see rt sprint 2 the current sprint which we are in and it will show you how many issues were done how many issues are still incomplete and then we have to select where all the incomplete issues need to move so basically these incomplete issues two are in development and one is in review i can either move it to the new sprint or to the backlog okay but the other thing is now say for example i want to move it to the next sprint so what i can do is i can go to the backlog and i can create the next sprint okay so i can simply click on create sprint and you can see rt sprint 3 got created okay so let me go back to active sprints again and click on complete sprint and now i can see the rt sprint 3 as well so i i can either move to to new sprint backlog or the sprint that i recently created so now because after this sprint i know that i'll be moving it, these items to the next sprint so i can simply select move to rt sprint 3 3 which we created and click on complete and once i'll click complete it will go to the sprint report where you'll have the option to create the retrospective page etc and see the details how the overall sprint progressed okay i'll cover these reports in later tutorial uh, i'll go back and if i go to the active sprints now i don't see anything here right because the sprint has been completed if i go to the backlog now i'll see rt sprint 3 and those three items which we moved from RT Sprint 2 are here in RT Sprint 3. Okay, so now in this Sprint 3, we'll do another sprint planning. We'll prioritize these as well as we'll add some new items in this particular sprint and agree as a team that yes, this is what we are committing to to build in this particular sprint. And then once everyone agrees, the you know Scrum Master will basically start the sprint okay once we'll say start sprint um, then you know th this is basically estimation issues uh, or do not have the value for the estimate that's why we are getting this alert 
but uh, it will ask for the duration start and I can simply provide two weeks and then start this particular sprint and now RT sprint 3 has been started and the items that we planned are available on the board okay so this is about the closing sprint in the classic scrum project now let's go back and see the next gen scrum project so if i go to the next gen scrum project process is similar so we have to go to the boards and on the board i'll see the sprint that is currently active so these are some of the items four are done two are in progress to complete the sprint i'll simply click on complete sprint okay usually this will get reduced to zero so once the sprint is actually completed because i created this sprint just today to demo how you will close it so that is why it's showing as 10 days remaining but ideally once that duration has been over you will see zero days remaining and your scrum master will basically discuss and complete the sprint so once i click on complete sprint it will give me same options as we have saw in the classic project so i can move the issues to the new sprint or to the backlog say for example if i change it to you know new sprint let's see what happens so click on complete sprint and you will see that it has moved to the backlog here and the items have been moved to this particular rns sprint 3 automatically right because we have chosen the new sprint and now again there will be sprint planning there will be a few more items added into this particular sprint once the team finalizes then they'll again start the sprint okay so this is how you will do it in the next gen scrum project so overall concept is same whether you are doing it in the classic scrum project or next gen scrum project a little bit difference in the navigation and the layout all right so that's all how you can close the sprint in jira hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching